everyone and welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm sorry I've taken a while again to make a video, just life gets way too much sometimes and I have to sort of cut right down and just go back to the real basics of sort of like family life, work life, boyfriend life and then ooh, try and build up from there. So I'm trying to build. So yeah, anyway, without that, I am filming today an April favourites because apparently it is May already. Lord knows how that has happened, but um, well, hey, welcome to May. Nearly halfway through the year, which is a bit terrifying, but hey ho. And I thought I would show you my favourite things of the month of April. There's not an awful lot of stuff because, like I said, I've been very much sort of confined to my everyday life and like, no, cannot do anything crazy apart from maybe do a couple of Topshop orders and, you know, things like that. But yeah, I haven't got that many favourites, but I thought I would share with you my absolute favourites and go from there. So yeah. First things first though, I hope you're all okay, um, please let me know. And if you have any really outstanding favourites um, for this five months, well four months and three days of the year so far, pop them in the comment below because I would really love to know. So yeah, let's get started. The first thing that um, I have been loving this month is this, which everybody and their grandma has been talking about. Um, and I jumped on the bandwagon a long time ago, as you can see. Um, and I have loved it. I have carried on using it pretty much every single day to remove my makeup and now when I'm thinking I need to buy a new one, they are sold out everywhere, pretty much. This is the, before I, I should tell you what it is, this is the Garnier Micellar Water, which is, I've never tried it, but I have presumed it is really, really similar to the Bioderma, which is just a very, very expensive version of a Micellar Water. Loads of companies do them. Um, Dior do a, do a version, called a version, Darfan do a version, and that's just to name a few companies that do a micellar water as a cleanser um, and as a makeup remover. And I have tried a few. Um, I have a Darfan one for eye makeup, and I'm not, I'm not that impressed with it. But this one, amazing for the price, three ninety nine or something. You can get it from Boots um, Superdrug. It is really, really good. And with a cotton pad, I use a extra large cotton pad. Um, pad that you can get in like baby sections of supermarkets and stuff. One whip of that and pretty much everything is gone so that is awesome. A second favourite is a mascara, it is this which is the L'Oreal Volume Million Lashes Noir Excess and I have had a real trouble with mascara recently. The last few months my eyelashes have not been particularly helpful, they've just been sort of very straight, my eyelashes grow straight anyway. So, um, yeah, they're, they're just not particularly nice. They're quite long, but the ends are very blonde, so it's a bit like I need a bit of mascara to make me look like I have eyelashes. And I didn't think I liked a synthetic brush, but for some reason, this brush, so the Volume, what's it called? Volume Million Lashes Noir Excess brush is a synthetic plastic brush that sort of is tapered and has all like a bobble at the end. And it is really good. I don't know if it's quite so much the brush or the formulation, but it is a very black mascara. It goes on very quickly. I need about two coats, which is brilliant because usually I'm putting three, four, five coats on my lashes. Um, and yeah, I'm very much um, enjoying this mascara. And I believe I got it on an induction price in Sainsbury's for about eight pounds. And usually L'Oreal mascaras in England are about 10 to 12 pounds, which I think is quite expensive, but that's just me. My next favourite is a perfume, Ta-da! and this is the D&G number no. 10, which is La Rue, de la La Rue de la Fortune, which I think is the road of fortune, or the road to fortune, I don't, I don't really know. But I don't know if this is discontinued or not, I got this as an incentive at work, because if you reach your targets, or if you do well, you get to sign out a product, and um, yeah, this was in the bucket of things to sign out, I like the smell, I very much like the smell, and I got it. And this was about two weeks ago now, and it's an eau de toilette, and I've been wearing it every day. So that's about two weeks worth of everyday use, and I've been very much liking that scent. So I need to go and investigate whether I can buy it again. <laughs> but anyway. And my last makeup favourite is this, which is a MAC lipstick in the colour that I'm wearing now. So I'm going to give you a minute just to sort of guess what you think it is. Because sometimes the colour payoff isn't quite right on video, but it is this which is Morange, which is their bright orange um, lipstick. It is a matte, I believe. Oh, an amplified, um, amplified lipstick. Amplified, what do they call them? Amplified colour, amplified, whatever. It's the amplified lipstick. I have their Impassioned as well, which was like my first ever bright lipstick and I loved it. 
And I still love it actually. I think I still have a bit left in it. But anyway, I've been loving this. I bought this at the end of last summer or I got it back to Mac or something like that. And I got it and I thought, oh, brilliant. I've got like half a week left of August and then wearing orange in the middle of winter isn't quite doesn't quite go very well so as soon as the sun has been sort of peeking through the clouds I'm like right need to get my bright makeup out again so I'm very much loving this lipstick and I'm wearing it today and I will be wearing it quite a lot because it's just a little bit of fun when you, if you wear a really simple face a little bit of mascara a little bit of eyeliner maybe if you feel that way and a bit of bronzer just something that perks your face up and like hmm it's summer forgot to add that in it's a bit embarrassing but Frozen is amazing <laughs> and I saw it last weekend weekend before last weekend and yeah it was amazing let it go has been my favorite song of the month sorry let it go let it go I am one with the wind and sky let it go let it go the perfect girl is gone here I stand in the light of day. Do, 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 and I have three fashion favourites. My first are a pair of shoes, and I showed these in a haul a while ago, um, and I have literally wore them, literally wore them, does that make sense? I've actually worn them pretty much um, four times a week, three times a week, every week since I got these, which is probably back in about February time. They're a pair of Doc Martin Originals shoes in black um, lizard print, I think that's called. I'll show you a close up. So they're not completely like their original, they're a little bit different. Um, and I wear them to work and everyone's like, what are you doing wearing like a little girly dress and these to work but they're so comfortable I walk a mile to work a mile back and they don't you know wear down at all and they were 60 pounds I think but I think I've already worn them over 60 times and that's generally my rule of things if I buy something that's expensive or that I think oh god probably shouldn't spend that much money um, I think well if I can wear it every one one time per pound it cost then it sort of equals itself out and it's a good value for money that's my way of reasoning with things anyway. <laughs> my second fashion favourite is another one of those things that you think, mm, maybe I need to count how many times I wear this, but it, this, I've already worn it every day, minus maybe two since I received it. This is from my mum. Yeah, I know, she's um, she spoiled me a bit. And it is an All Saints leather jacket. Um, I don't know the name of this jacket, do I? No. But it is um, just the black um, distressed leather with the um, quilted shoulders and then the zips on the arms and on the sides and oh, it's just the nicest leather jacket I've ever, I've actually never had leather jacket, I've had fake leather jackets, but it is the nicest leather I have felt pretty much ever. Um, it's so buttery soft and it feels amazing on. It's sort of a cropped so it doesn't look too oversized on me being quite a small person, I'm only five foot three, so anything that's really long doesn't really help me out, but there are some things that I can't not have. I don't know what I'm babbling on about, but this is a really good fit for me, I think. I got it in a size 10, and yeah, I am loving that jacket, and I recommend anybody that is um, tempted to try on a jacket, unless you really cannot afford it, don't try them on, because as soon as you try it on, you'll definitely want it, but if you are tempted to try them on and buy one, try it on, and you'll be amazed. They're really, really good the day so this is probably about two weeks ago maybe three weeks ago I was having a little look around topshop.com having a little gander gaze you know not really when I never shop online I've never shopped on topshop.com I look at it all the time but I never shop on it because I prefer to go to a shop touch things try them on think what can go with what um, and yeah but then I saw this item and this is what spurred me to be like right I need to purchase some things from Topshop because I need to make the postage worthwhile and that just means I need to buy more things, obviously. Um, and the thing that made me buy everything was this. Ah, okay. Not only is that an awesome top, it's a super, super awesome play suit. I mean, come on. That is like a beach hut in an outfit. What? 
on earth. And if anybody knows me from Adam, you know, my friends, people that just know of me, my favourite thing to wear are shorts or a play suit. Short play suit. You get me? Um, if I could wear denim shorts or play suits all year round, if I lived in like Australia or I don't know, California, then I would be honestly probably the happiest person alive ever. However, I don't. I live in England and I have to wear jumpers the majority of the time. But I saw this. I haven't worn it yet because of the weather, but believe me, I will be wearing it. It was from, it is from Topshop and it was a, it's £40. I got mine in a size 12 and I probably could, would, should have got it in a 10. But I do like really baggy things. I don't know if you can tell, but I like to feel free. And um, with things where you've got your legs showing, I think it doesn't really matter if they're baggy. And if it's hot, you're going to want something like loose. And I'm just, I'm just telling you this, but I think it is sold out now anyway. But I love it. And I cannot wait to show you guys an outfit of the day with it on. I cannot wait to go on holiday and wear it all the time and be like a walking, talking beach hut. But yeah, that was my exciting find. And that led me on to buy these things, which I'm wearing right now. What on earth? They are a pair of mom jeans. I already have a pair of black mom jeans. Um, but these are a pair of bleach. Do you want to see? Shall I show you? Because these are also sort of kind of a favourite because I have loved them for the whole, loved them, of course. Of course I've loved them. I have worn them pretty much every day off I've had since I bought them. So yeah, quite a lot. They are a pair of, let me get my camera angle down. Bleach, um, floral patterned, rip at the knee, sort of biker chick. I don't know, wrong word. But yeah, they're a floral mom jean and these, ooh, come on, come on, come on. <sighs> um, the play suit was 40 pounds. I know, a bit painful, but you know, sometimes things have to be done. And these jeans were 42. Um, yeah, again with the painful and like, oh God, do I really need those? I did, and I'm glad I did, and <sighs> I'm sorry. Sometimes you have to buy stuff and sometimes it has to be done. And then you just have to sort of be good for the rest of the month. But it's now a new month because I did buy these last year, last month. So I'm very much looking forward to whatever I need to buy this month. <laughs> but yeah, I'm sorry I'm babbling. And I'm sorry for all the moving around of the camera. But I hope you enjoyed my video. If you have any favourites, anything that I should check out, anything that you guys have been like, oh my god, then please let me know in the comments below or send me a little link to your video. I have Twitter and I have Instagram. Both are my name, so Alice Chigi, A-L-I-C-E-C-H-I-D-G-E-Y. Find me on there, add me, and then we can get chatting. That would be really cool. Um, um, and yeah, I'm on Instagram literally all of the time. So if you need me, Instagram is the place to get me. But yeah, um, thank you for stopping by, and I will see you guys soon. Lots of love. Bye.